Hey guys, it's Tammy, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be kind of swatching and going through all of the new Revolution lip stuff. I believe they're calling it the Lip Boutique. So they released 24 nude lipsticks, but they all have four different finishes. So what's 24 times four? Let's grab the calculator real quick. 96 lipsticks, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely not gonna uh, swatch them all on my lips. I'm gonna be doing some on my hands and then my favorite ones on my lips like this one right here. But before before we get started with today's video I do want to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Shop Tagger. I have worked with them a couple times before and you guys always tell me how useful it is so if you haven't downloaded it or installed it yet definitely jump on that today the link will be down in my description box so Shop Tagger is a web app that helps you shop smarter basically helps you save money okay guys so it's super easy to uh, get Shop Tagger. it's free you just sign up with your email address and then you install it to your browser browser so it works on google chrome but also on safari so it's super easy to just download the button and just like that it's on your browser so it works on over 3,000 online stores which is amazing from h&m to amazon to asos but it also works on revolution so i'm going to show you guys how to add something to your shop tagger this is on safari so you click this little uh, button at the top you click add it to your list I was gonna add it to my makeup list but then I decided to make a new list which you can do right here I'm gonna create a skincare list because skincare is different from makeup so I wanted to separate it so this is now getting added to my skincare list and just like that it's now on my shop tagger this also works on cult beauty's website so say i want to get this drunk elephant set but it's 71 pounds so i want to make sure that i get it when it's on sale i simply just add it to my shop tagger and now it will be on my dashboard so it will notify me via email and also via the little notification bell in the top right hand corner when anything goes on sale so you can see the original price and then you can see the sale price as well so it tells you how much you're saving at the moment and how much it's on sale for so this is the little notification tab and you can see it told me when my palette with revolution came back in stock because it did sell out Woohoo! what i also found interesting is um even though this dress is showing as 15 pounds on the uh, misguided website they do have a 23 percent discount code active right now so if you type in that code it shows you that you um only pay 11 pound 55 for the dress and that's exactly what is shown on shop tagger as well so they do tell you the price of any discount codes um included and i think that's amazing so if you do want to install shop tagger make sure you click the link in my description box and it will take you straight to the download and install page so now let's just go ahead and get started so the first color i have and this color I've been rocking ever since I got this package it's my favorite out of all 24 shades to be honest I've only been rocking it in the sheer finish and this is the shade gone rogue guys this is I don't even have a lip liner on this is my perfect nude this is the nude I would wear every single day it's that nude where I can literally swipe it on no lip liner nothing and it just comes out so beautiful um I've been receiving compliments when I wear this color like what color is that do you have anything underneath like it is beautiful now the sheer um lip formula is actually just a lip gloss and it's not that sheer it's kind of like a very pigmented lip gloss so i don't know why it's called sheer but um i suppose out of all four formulas it is the most sheer formula i suppose but it's basically a lip gloss okay so just in case my lips aren't enough this is the shade gone rogue so that is just oh gorgeous shade i believe these lip glosses are only three pounds as well out of all 24 highly recommend this one now there is three other formulas now i'm just going to show you the gone rogue shade in the three other formulas i don't think i've used these on my lips but we will today there is a liquid lipstick in a matte formula so once again this is the same shade gone rogue and it comes with a long doe foot applicator and this is the shade so it's the same shade just a little bit lighter they also have a creme formula which is kind of like the uh, NYX soft matte lip creams basically these are all meant to be the same shade so this is the first time I'm actually swatching all of them next to each other and I do prefer the gloss color of course it's that dark brown the rest of them are kind of like peachy nudes but that is the creme formula and it looks like that and then last but not least we have the standard bullet 
you know formula bullet lipstick so that is the bullet lipstick that is the creme that is the liquid matte and that is the lip gloss in all uh, all the shades oh my gosh get the words out they're all in the shade gone rogue i really like this idea of having every shade in different formulas only because for example say you find a liquid lipstick shade that you really like but you're a gloss girl like me then you want that same shade but you you want it in a gloss formula so usually what we end up doing is applying the liquid matte and then going over it with a clear gloss so we get the color but not the finish if you know what i mean whereas in this one you can literally just get the shade that you want but also the finish that you want so if you find a lip gloss that you really like the color of but you're more of a liquid matte girl then you could just go and get the liquid matte version if that makes sense so i really like the idea behind this whole line and let me know your guys thoughts down in the comment section now we're going to go through the rest of the shades i've kind of separated the ones that i like the most but we do still have all of oh my gosh we do still have all of these to go through as well so I'm, I'm wondering how I should do this if I should go through by shade yeah that would make more sense right so let me take a minute and organize everything into the correct shades and then we'll go through all 24 shades I don't think you guys understand how long that actually took me to organize everything by shade I feel like I was here for a good half an hour and to count the extra half an hour I took unwrapping every single lipstick just an hour preparing for this video I am like so tired already but we're gonna get through this I've done it they're all organized by shade so let's go ahead and get into to this so starting with the shade Val which is a very light nudie brown type of shade okay so here we have the shade Val and the four different finishes so this is the lip gloss the creme the liquid matte lipstick and then the bullet lipstick so this is the shade Val it's that very light nudie peachy shade I would probably use the lip gloss I'll probably use the lip gloss in all of the shades to be honest but because I tried the lip gloss from the last shade I'm gonna go ahead and try the bullet lipstick from this set I know I'm gonna need a lip liner with this because it is such a light shade so I'm just taking glory They're not super pigmented um, lipsticks, but it is applying really well, like a couple layers. So that is the shade Val, and it looks absolutely beautiful with uh, the Glory Lip Liner on me. I do believe they have a lipstick called Val already from the Renaissance line. Let me top it with the sheer lip gloss formula as well. So this is a gorgeous nude. I think it will suit multiple skin tones. And let's move on to the next one. So the next shade we have is actually a deep dark brown, I believe. And this one is called TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. And this is the darkest shade out of all of the nudes. It's like a really deep brown shade. So here we have TGIF. They do look slightly different. Like this one does look like it has a little bit more purple than brown, but the rest of them are like deep dark brown. This is the liquid matte. This is the bullet lipstick. This is the creme and this is the lip gloss. Um, out of this set I do prefer the color of the liquid lipstick so I think from this one I'm gonna try the liquid lipstick formula because I haven't tried the formula of these liquid lipsticks yet the dofa applicator is extremely large so be careful seems to be a very opaque formula so far right look at that so that is the shade TGIF in the liquid lipstick formula. So far, this feels like the best liquid lipstick formula I've felt from Revolution. It doesn't feel sticky at all, but I'm gonna give it a second to dry down. Okay, so it's 100% dry now and it is slightly tacky. It's not as bad as like their um, lip kits, but it is definitely slightly um, tacky. Like when you're talking normally you don't feel it but if you do press your lips together you will feel a slight um slight tack i suppose it's not super bad to be honest the good news is as i'm popping my lips together they're not separating like you know some liquid lipsticks like when you pop your lips it starts like separating especially for a dark color um this formula is really nice it's just the tackiness okay so the next shade we have is another gorgeous nude shade and this is called muse um i believe i've used the lip gloss and this is a gorgeous nude on me i do kind of need a lip liner with it but i kind of don't it's one of those shades where it's 
almost my skin tone type of vibe. So this is the shade Muse. This is the lip gloss and this is the liquid lipstick. They are kind of completely different shades in my opinion. Uh, this one's definitely more orangey and then this one's definitely more peachy nude. So definitely like the lip gloss more. Let me swatch the bullet lipstick as well to see what color that is. Yeah, this is more of the same color as the lip gloss. And then the creme formula is quite similar to the nude as well so all of them are the same apart from the liquid lipstick i think i'm gonna go in with the creme formula just to show you guys because i haven't actually tried this formula either so do you guys see what i mean about so close to my skin tone it practically is my nude so that is the shade it's literally like concealer lips for me almost like my lips but slightly better i don't know i probably would wear a lip liner with this just to define my lips a bit more um because they're kind of disappearing right now but that is the color okay so this formula seems to be like a satin finish it's not completely matte but it's not super glossy like the gloss um i think if you want a matte finish or like an almost matte finish definitely go for this one very very comfortable on the lips not sticky at all and really kind of I really like this formula. So, so far I like all three formulas apart from the liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna go ahead and top this with the lip gloss in the same shade, Muse. Honestly, this color is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm also gonna take a little bit of Glory from Revolution just to define the lips. Look at that color. This is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous nude, love this. So the next shade we have is called Head Turner. And once again, this is kind of like a nudey peachy color. A little bit lighter than the other ones we've tried, I think. Yeah, definitely lighter. So this is the liquid lipstick shade. And this is the lip gloss shade down here here so really light kind of peachy nude so i think from this one i'm gonna try the bullet lipstick i'm gonna go in with a little bit of glory from revolution yeah so this one's a very very light nude still works gorgeously with a lip liner i'm gonna go in and top it with the lip gloss now in the same shade head turner so that is the shade Head Turner, absolutely gorgeous with a brown lip liner on me. Uh, definitely prefer the lip gloss formula once again. Okay, so the next one I only have three formulas in and this is the shade Fling and it's kind of a caramelly brownie nude again. So here we have the shade Fling, this is the lip gloss, liquid lipstick and creme. So I don't have the bullet. So once again, I prefer the lip gloss color. I feel like the lip glosses are a little bit darker than the rest of the formulas, if that makes sense. And darker for me is always is better because it goes with my skin tone better so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and try on the lip gloss i'm gonna stop trying on shades very very soon because my lips are starting to get a bit mm. i'm gonna try it without a lip liner this one reminds me so much of the one i had on at the beginning gone rogue this is an absolutely gorgeous shade <laughs> how many times am i gonna say that this is a gorgeous shade the fact that i don't need a lip liner with it and it still looks so good I love it. The next shade we have is called Attraction. Once again, I've only got three formulas. I do feel like I had, like the name is familiar. I do feel like I had the lip gloss, but maybe it's in my bag somewhere, I don't know. So this is the shade of Attraction. It's kind of that peachy nude shade. And then this is the shade of the Bullet Lipstick. Definitely a peachy coral. So that is the shade Attraction. Okay, this next one is looking like a potential favorite as well. This is called Chauffeur. And this one's kind of like a mauve pinky nude color. Okay. Okay, so this one's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. It's actually like a baby pink. So that is the creme formula. Let's go ahead and swatch the lip gloss because the lip glosses are always slightly darker. Okay, maybe not in this case. It is a light pinky nude. I probably would wear that because it's a lip gloss. It can easily be manipulated and mixed with a lip liner and it won't be that opaque. So if I'm doing like a pinky look on the eyes, this would be really good to go with it, but not my everyday nude, not like this color. The next shade we have is called Misbehaving and this one's like a really, really light peachy nude. Yeah, this one's like really, really light. So that is the lip gloss. I don't think I, this is like the first shade that I wouldn't actually wear it's really really light it just wouldn't suit my skin tone probably even with a lip liner it just won't complement me some people do like that really really light um lip look but it's just not something that i tend to go for so once again that is the shade misbehaving lip gloss and liquid lipstick next we have the shade piece of cake which is a kind of peachy nude again <laughs> that is the lip gloss that's the liquid lipstick so that is the shade piece of cake 
Next we are moving into like the pinky shade. So this is called flat, what? No, not flat, it's called featured. This is called featured and this is like a really light pinky nude. So here we have the creme formula and the lip gloss formula. So once again, that is the shade featured. I'm not swatching these shades on my lips because they're honestly not shades that I would personally wear. So there's no point, you know, you know. The next lipstick we have is called Heart Race. And once again, these are pinky nude shades. So this is the liquid lipstick and this is the lip gloss in the shade Heart Race. I probably would wear the lip gloss once again with certain looks if I had like a pinky eye going on. But like if I'm gonna wear this shade for the rest of the video, then I just should just line it a little bit. Okay, so the next color we have is like a real, real pinky color and this is called White Wedding. So this is the lip gloss formula. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the liquid lipstick for you guys as well okay so the liquid lipstick seems to be of a candy candy yum yum type of pink that's a really really bright pink in my opinion okay so the next one i don't have a liquid lipstick for but this is the shade glorified and it's kind of that corally pinky nude so that is the shade glorified this is the creme formula and this is the lip gloss formula the next one is like a deep pink nude and this one is called ballerina this one's actually like a dusty rose type of color so the top one is the liquid lipstick the bottom is the lip gloss now one thing i will say is do not let the packaging of the creme lipstick confuse you guys because it does come out slightly different so this is the ballerina creme lipstick and then this is how it actually comes out so you would think this is kind of like a deeper color but it's actually not so they're not too too different but they are slightly different so make sure if you can watch the tester in store the next shade is a even deeper rosy pink type of color so this lipstick is called dollhouse this is the bullet lipstick and then this is the liquid lipstick so like i said it's like a pinky rose color i personally wouldn't class this as nude because they are meant to be 24 nude shades but i don't know whose nude this is this is like pink girl this is pink now we're moving on to kind of pinky purpley type of nudes i suppose this color is called rose oh this lip gloss is beautiful so this one's like a purpley pinky color and then this one is the creme formula so once again this is called rose i think i'm gonna put this one on my lips so I'm really not a pinky person, but if I was to wear pink, this would be the type of pink that I would wear. It's like very easy to wear for me. I didn't need to put any extra lip liners or like manipulate it in any way. It's a really nice, easy pink for me to wear. If I had a different eye look on, it would go completely. Um, it still kind of goes, but I feel like with a eye look like this, I do prefer peachy nudes. The next color is once again, kind of like a Marvy pinky color, and this is called Bokeh. What was that show? Do you guys remember? remember that show I can't remember what it's called but there was a lady called Mrs Bucket and she used to go it's bouquet darling it's bouquet <laughs> like every time someone came to the door they'd be like I'm here for Mrs Bucket and she would be like it's bouquet darling <laughs> um okay so this one's actually quite a light kind of lilac-y purple once again this is not really a nude this is like a lilac color this is the lip gloss formula and then let's go ahead and swatch the liquid lipstick yeah, it's kind of like a rosy lilac color. Then the creme lipstick is here. Oh guys, we are getting down to the last three colors, I believe. So the next one is another pinky type of color. <laughs> so this is the liquid lipstick. It is a pink. This is the lip gloss. I don't know if I told you guys, but the lip glosses are so comfortable. Like they're not sticky at all they glide on really well they feel really nice and like hydrating on the lips really nice uh lip gloss formula so yeah that is the shade poise now the last two colors are kind of going back to corally orange type of colors so this is called rbf and this is basically like an orange yeah it's like an orange coral so this is the creme formula so yeah that is rbf i would wear the lip gloss with certain looks like you know you do a look and you're just like this would need a coral or this would need a pink that's the type of time i would go for lip glosses like this but um yeah and last but not least well it might be least i don't know but <laughs> we have the shade knockout and this is like a straight up orange guys like this looks like a light orange soda type of color so here we have the liquid lipstick the creme and the lip gloss formula of the shade knockout so it's not a bad shade it's just not i probably would use the lip gloss <laughs> i'm so 
said that like a million times this video but I probably would with certain looks you know what I mean so that is the last shade guys what do you think about all of the shades let me quickly clean my hands and I'll come back to you with my thoughts also I haven't mentioned it but the doe foot applicator on these lip glosses is absolutely amazing especially if you have big lips like me it just covers everything with one dip like you don't need to keep digging 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 I hate lip glosses like that it's like you get the smallest amount out and you have to dig 10 times to cover your lips but this like releases so much product so I've gone back in with the shade Muse in the lip gloss formula with the glory lip liner that's what's on my lips now and this is my comfort zone this is when I feel at home so my thoughts on the whole collection honestly I told you guys that I love the idea of having four different finishes for the same same shade my favorites are the peachy caramel brownie type of nudes uh Muse gone rogue what color is this fling those are my top top three shades but obviously I I do like kind of the lighter shades as well like I think Val was really nice with certain looks I could definitely see myself wearing those but for like everyday throw on and go type of nudes Muse, Gone Rogue and Fling are definitely my top three shades to pick but even with Fling it's only the lip gloss formula not the liquid matte or anything like that I think the liquid matte formula could be improved in terms of stickiness like I don't know how liquid lipsticks are made I'm not a scientist but they need to fix something to make it less sticky I don't know what to fix but it is kind of tacky and not the most comfortable liquid lipstick the creme formula is really nice um I just prefer a glossier finish I could see myself using them underneath the gloss for like an extra pigmentation but the glosses are quite pigmented by themselves so yeah creme is a nice finish if you like a satin you don't really like glossy lips or you don't like matte lips then it's a good in between same with the bullet lipstick they're really quite creamy kind of like a satin finish once again with the bullet lipsticks but overall that takes the number one in my heart is definitely the sheer lip glosses guys they are amazing they're three pounds they're so glossy but pigmented and comfortable and they they're just amazing they're my favorite so i hope these swatches helped you guys because it is kind of hard especially if you're shopping online to know what shade will you will like and what will suit you let me know your favorite shades down in the comment section make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up make sure you are subscribed to my youtube channel for many many videos coming make sure you check out shop tagger via my link in my description box and i'll catch you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye